Greetings diecast racing fans and welcome back to round two of our 2020 truck tournament. The action's really starting to hot up. We've got two matchbox cars through to the final, one from Teamsters and the rest are all from Hot Wheels. Now let's get down to the, get down to the action and we'll start out by drawing who's going against who in round two. If you don't want to miss out on any of this diecast racing action, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you stick that bell on. Also, it'd be nice to see comments from you in the comments section to see about who you think is going to win when we go on to the final and the, or to the semi-final and the grand final, which will go live on the 11th of January. So now for the round two draw, all the numbers are back in the bag. And I'm going to do the same as I did before and place them face down and then turn them over and go from there. So, give them a good shake. Okay, so race one, we've got number nine, which is Psycho Walker in Junga Fett versus number 11, which is Jack Stan Jimmy in Rocket. Number nine, Psycho Walker will have the right hand lane. Race two will be number 13, which is Cuboid and Pick Me Up versus number two, which is Matthew, T uh, Matthew Harding in Gavin. Race three will be number 14, which is Lency in the MC truck versus number one, Mark Taylor. Riley's DRC in Tegan. And the final racing setup of round two will be in number 16, which is Slippery Sullivan in Slinky versus number eight. That's Mitchell McFarland in the McFarland Racing number three Dale truck. I'll get all the details out and then be right back to you. So here we go for your round two matchups in full details. First up, Psycho Walker from Team Catfish in Junga Fett. The 1991 GMC Cyclone, cast by Hot Wheels, weight 35 grams, versus Jack Stan Jimmy of McFarlane Fab in Rocket. 1971 El Camino Custom, hot, uh, cast by Hot Wheels, weight 39 grams. That should be a very interesting race. Race two, Cuboid from Four Cubed Racing in Pick Me Up, a 1969 Chevy pickup, cast by Hot Wheels, weight 30 grams, versus Matthew Harding from WCDC World Cup of Diecast Cars in Gavin, a 1975 Datsun 620, cast by Hot Wheels, weight 33 grams. Again, should be a good balance race. Race three, Lency from Diecast Raceway Central in the MC truck. The 1949 Ford F1, cast by Hot Wheels, weight 35 grams, versus Mark Taylor from Riley's DRC in Tegan, a 1947 Chevy half ton AD 3100, cast by Matchbox, weight 32 grams. These cars, or these trucks, sorry, look very alike, so seeing those races should be quite interesting. And the final set of races of round two is Slippery Sullivan from Sahawi Slopes in Slinky. A 2016 Ram flatbed work truck, cast by Matchbox, weight 30 grams, versus Mitchell McFarlane from McFarlane Racing in the number three Dale truck, a Street Machine Custom, 1995 Chevy NASCAR truck, cast by Teamsters, weight 52 grams. Let's get down to the action, shall we? 
track is all ready. We still have no fans due to lockdown. Our drivers are all ready. So let's get started. First up, we've got Rocket versus Jung Effect. Three, two, one, race. Oh, very, very close. Red Lane wins. That's one win for Jung Effect. So one nil to Jung Effect. Come on, Rocket. Don't let the dark side beat you. <laughs> Three, two, one, race. Yes. And as close as that is, Rocket has tied it up. Now for the decider. One apiece into the decider. Best of luck, drivers. Three, two, one, race. Oh, even all the way down the track. And just Jung Effect. And I do mean just. I wish I'd got another angle on that. Maybe for the semis and the finals we'll get some different angles. Well, looking interesting. Let's see how Gavin does against Pick Me Up. Nice balance race this. 30 grams versus 33, both Hot Wheels casts. Three, two, one, race. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Gavin, were you sleeping? Has Pick Me Up used his nitrous too early? Because he was certainly doing something there because he got several car lengths or truck lengths on him. Ready? Three, two, one, race. No, it's true. That car or that truck is just so fast. Clear win, two and done. Well, I don't know what Cuboid's done to that truck, but wow, pick me up, he's very, very fast. Now let's move on to these two. The MC truck in orange and Tegan in the green. They look very, very similar. We'll see how they race. Three, two, one, race. Oh, close all the way down. And Tegan just loses. First race to the MC truck. Let's see whether Tegan can live it up this time. Three, two, one, race. Yep. Tegan's leveled it up. It's one apiece into the third and final decider. It's one apiece between the MC truck and Tegan. Let's see what happens this time. We're all ready. Three, two, one, race. And the MC truck just shades it at the end. Tegan is eliminated. Well done. So Lency advances in the MC truck onto the final set of races of round two. We've got Slinky with Slippery Sullivan versus number three Dale truck driven by Mitchell McFarland. Mitchell McFarlane in this Teamsters cast has a substantial weight advantage here. 52 grams playing 30. So he's got 22 grams in weight. Let's see if it does him any good. Slinky did really well in his heat. 
and we'll see how we go this time. Three, two, one, race. Wow. Slinky got really got away from him there and took the lead straight out from Mitchell. At number three, Dale Truck, I think it's suited to a longer track. So can Slinky make it two and done? Or will Mitchell McFarlane pull it back now? He's back on his favoured red lane. We'll see. Three, two, one, race. Nope. That's two clear wins from a Slinky. Slippery Sullivan does it. He advances through into round three, eliminating the number three Dow truck driven by Mitchell McFarland. So here are the four that advance onto round three. Number nine, Psycho Walker in Junga Fett. Number 13, Cuboid in Pick Me Up. Number 14, Lency in the MC truck. Number 16, Slippery Sullivan in Slinky. Slinky's got it all to do. He's the only um, matchbox through into the semi-finals. And the semi-finals will be best of five, not best of three. So this concludes today's racing. I hope you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you all next week for the semi-finals and the grand final both of which will be done over best of five and we should have a new finish gate for those, an electronic one. That's it from me for today. I'll catch you soon.